This is video number 10 for cello and bass players. And in this video, we are going to start learning how to read our notes so that we know when to play what note. Now, for now, your book is very nice to you, and inside the note, it has the little letter. That's going to go away. And so we need to identify the note by, is it on a line, on a space, which line, which space it's on. So what I have here is a very old dry erase board. It's kind of cruddy looking. Um, and I have drawn the bass clef. Now remember, cellos, you use the bass clef. A lot of instruments use the bass clef, not just the bass. Next to the, the bass clef, I have two sharp signs. We learned about sharps in the previous video. Remember, they kind of look like hashtags. Uh, we learned about that in the previous video when we learned to play F sharp. What this is called right here is the key signature. So we have your clef and we have your key signature. There are many, many, many different key signatures. Some key signatures will have no sharps. Some will have one. Some have two or three or four or five or six or seven sharps. You can have as many as seven sharps in a key signature. And what the key signature does is it tells us which notes are going to be sharp. And those of you that know a little more about music, it also someday will tell us which notes will be flat. That doesn't come till book two for us. Don't want to confuse you. For now, here's all you need to know about key signatures. You need to know that you're going to find your key signature right next to your clef at the beginning of every line. You need to know that the key signature tells us which notes are sharp. In this case, this means that all of the Fs everywhere on your instrument, you only know one right now, are F sharps, and that all of the Cs that you will play everywhere on your instrument, you don't know any yet, but you will learn soon, are going to be not Cs, but C sharps. So again, this is the key signature. The key signature that we know is called D major. That's new information for you. And what identifies it as D major is that there are two sharps. One of them is for the F sharp, one is for the C sharp. That's all you need to know. This is the key signature, it's called D major. It has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. Your book chooses not to teach you key signatures till I believe number 44 in the book. However, I found that, and so what they do instead is they have to, every time they put an F down, they have to put the sharp sign next to it, okay? I found that students were recognizing the F not by where it lives on the staff, but by the fact that it has a sharp sign in front of it. The key signature eliminates the need for a sharp sign at the beginning in the front of the note, okay? That's why we have key signatures. That's why we're going to use them now. So, clef, key signature, key signature is D major. Now, hopefully you did memorize where open D is. Open D is on the middle line. Open D is on the middle line. Now, the way this, the staff works, it's much like your instrument. As the notes go higher, they go up the staff. As we add fingers onto our instrument, the notes get higher. As we add, as we go up, the notes will get higher. That's also what will happen is as we go higher in the alphabet as well. Now, the musical alphabet just goes up to G and then starts back over at A. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So if this is D, the way the notes will work, if one, this one is on a line, see it's, I'm gonna come closer. If this is on a line, the next note up will be on a space. Then, a line, then a space, and then a line. Are there more notes than that? Absolutely, we just don't know them yet. Are there notes down here? Yes. Remember there's two strings you haven't played on yet. These, these, this area over here is for the low two strings you haven't played on yet, okay? So, line, space, line, space, line. From now, you will not see a note lower than this. Basis, you're thinking, you liar, I already saw a note down here. This is where your open A was. You're not going to see this again for a really long time, okay? Not till we start bowing will you see that note again. So you're gonna learn a new A and you're gonna learn it today. So here we have 
open D, and remember, we go up, we go higher in the alphabet, we go higher pitches, we add fingers down. Think about this, open D, what's this gonna be? What comes after D in the alphabet? A, B, C, D, E is right here, and think about that, open D, one finger down is E. We add a note, we go up from a line to a space. So what note comes next on your instrument? After E, A, B, C, D, E, F, sharp. Remember, F has a special name, it's a sharp. Why is this F sharp? Because the key signature tells us that every single F we play everywhere on our instrument, even though we only know one right now, every single F that we play will be sharp. So this is an F sharp. And then next comes G. Okay, after G comes the note A, not H. We add the musical alphabet stops after G. So D, E, F sharp, G, A. Start memorizing where these are. D is on the middle line, or you may say the third line. E is on the third space. F sharp is on the fourth line. G is on the fourth space, you can say the top space. A, you can say either the fifth line or the top line. Memorize these notes now so that you are not relying upon those little letters inside because they will go away. And when they go away, if you have not learned to read these, you're going to all of a sudden get very frustrated and behind. Take the time now to learn how to read these notes. Use flashcards. There are um, internet tutorials out there for you to, to, to quiz yourself on note reading. Um, all sorts of things to do that. There are some quizzes you can take and, and so, things like that. But this is how the staff works. Are there more notes up here as well? Yes, and we will learn in a, in a future video how to go higher than the staff as well. All right, so your, your job now, memorize these five notes and the names of them. And then I'll see you in your next video.